Thank you. 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 We can make it a family present. We'll all accept the membership as a happy birthday to each of us. I'm game. Me too. Well, I guess we can scrape up the money some way. Oh, <laughs> oh Jimmy! Thank you, dear. Mm. Uh-oh. It wouldn't do for the principal or his daughters to be late for school. Come on, girls. You know something? I've always wanted to belong to a country club. <laughs> Goodbye, Don. Bye, dear. Goodbye, Mommy. Goodbye, dear. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. <laughs> I'm from the telephone company. Oh? You've got something on your lip. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You give good service. Mm. Uh, just a minute. I come here to tell you that next month a new telephone book is coming out. Oh? This town is growing so that this whole district is getting a new prefix. From next month on, instead of Valley, you'll be pleasant. I'll try. No, no, no. What, what I mean is that uh, everybody in the neighborhood will be pleasant. Oh, that'll be real nice. Mm. Skip it. Uh, we'll start with the address, uh, 413 Midvale, right? Yes, sir. The subscriber, Irwin, comma, Stewart, right? Oh, no. Oh, no? Well, who does live here, then? The whole family. Jackie? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean the subscriber. Oh, you mean the boss. Well, what's his name? Uh, when you shout, I can't think. <clears throat> well, what's his name? Who? The subscriber! The subscriber? Mister, you ain't pleasant. Well, how can I be? Look, who's the subscriber here? I want his last name first, and his first name last. Do you understand? Stuart Irving. You mean Irwin, comma, Stuart? No, no. I mean Stuart Irving. Ain't no middle name, comma. Well, it says in the book, Irwin, comma, Stuart. Oh, that don't make sense. <clears throat> well, instead of uh, Irwin, comma, Stuart, it's Stuart, comma, Irwin? Oh, now that sounds more like it. Well, you don't know how glad I am we caught that mistake. There could be some nasty repercussions, you know. S-T-U-A-R-T, -T, comma, E-R-W-I-N. I'll see you next month when the new telephone books come out. Yes, sir. Uh, Irving, comma. How can you get that comma? What do we do now? Well, Mrs. Ames says she'll phone this afternoon and bring her husband over later to meet us. What for? To get acquainted, I guess. Get acquainted? They're coming over to spy on us, see if we're good enough for them. Oh, I wouldn't say that. They just want to make sure we're congenial. It amounts to spying just the same, and I won't stand for it. But Alexander Ames practically runs the country club. I don't care. I have my standing in the community. He'll take me at face value or not at all. Oh, you have to be reasonable, dear. I'll bet you even ask them to stay for dinner once you meet them. Oh, come in, Willie. Good morning, everybody. Is there anything you want me to do, ma'am? Oh, heaven must have sent you, Willie. Will you clean up the house while we go out and do some shopping? Oh, yes. And help yourself to some breakfast. Thank you. I'm from the telephone company. Oh, I remember you. <clears throat> uh -uh. Mm. Now, uh, if I may take a look at the telephone, please. Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Right over here, sir. Thank you.
tell you pleasant now. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll see you. Bye. Please call from in ahead. Hmm. You're quite an artist, dear. Thanks, Mother. Oh, say, if Ralph comes over, may he stay a while? Only until the Ames has come. But, Mother... We want everything to run smoothly, dear. Ralph can meet the Ames at the club when we get in. Billy! Billy! Are you sure Mrs. Ames didn't call when we were out? Absolutely positive, Mrs. Irvin. Just a hint to Alexander Ames that I play golf. Where do you think I should put them so they won't be too obvious? Huh? Why not stand them over there by the mantel? Just the spot. Willie! Hold it while I call Dudley. Jackie! Yes, Mother? Please don't use the phone here until we hear from Mrs. Ames. And Ralph. Oh, every time I want to call, somebody else gets the phone. I'm just a papaya. Pariah? Well, whatever it is. I'm it. I'll get it, dear. Hello? Let me speak with Erwin, please. Who... who is this? Who? Just tell him it's Lulu, Colin. I just got into town. He'll come running. Just a minute, Lulu. They coming over? It wasn't Mrs. Ames. It's for you. A Lulu. Oh. For me? Well, it must be a student. It sounded like a student from the anatomy class. Oh, no. Oh, my, oh, my. Hello. Oh, there you are, darling. Darling? Who are you? Oh, now let's not be coy. That doesn't go over with Sweetie Pie. There must be some mistake, Sweetie Pie. I mean, Lulu. I mean, Miss Lulu. Are you sure you have the right number? Well, I got it right off the press. And if you're not over here in ten minutes, Lulu's coming after you. Oh, no, don't do that. My wife wouldn't like it. Uh, neither would I. Your wife? Wait till my lawyer hears you've got a wife. The whole town knows. I'm a happily married man. I've never tried to keep it a secret from anyone. It's just that I... Well? Do I look like a man that runs around with Lulu's? Whoever that woman was, she had the wrong number. Of course, dear. Then why did she ask for you? I tell you, I've never seen her or talked to her before in my entire life. Mommy, is that a Rosario? The word Lothario. Go upstairs to your room, children. Ah, uh, just when it was getting good. Oh. Willie can get it while we go in here and talk. Oh. Now, June, surely you don't believe that I... If you'll just tell me who this Lulu is. How should I know? She didn't even tell me. Mr. Irvin, it's for you. Oh, He's uh, busy. Huh? Yes. Well, I did. Uh, uh, pardon me. Huh? I'm Maxie, the new runner for Jake. He sent me over with the fish. What fish? Well, uh, 429 fish. Uh -huh. uh, money? Yeah. What for? Horse flying the fifth. George, huh? did you bet on a horse? No. Oh, usually he don't, man. According to Jake, he's always picking dogs. But this is his first one in a month. Well, so long, Pousy. Good luck. Uh, Horses, dogs, Lulus. 429 fish. I must be going out of my mind. I don't believe it. June, tell me. Am I dreaming? I won't believe it. It's impossible. Oh, my biscuits are burning. Huh? Open the window and let the smoke out. Uh, Willie, open the window. Yes. Horse fly. Mr. Evan. It's stuck again. Stuck? Oh. All right, I'll help you. Oh, stuff, huh? Someday I'm going to take out the whole sash and fix it once and for all. Now, we'll have to pull together so it won't go up crooked. When I say three, pull. Yeah. One, 
two, three. One, two, three. Willie. Yes. Look. It's locked. Oh. One, two, three. Now what happened? Broke a window. Willie, go down to the hardware store and get some new glass and putty. Yes. Can't let the Ameses catch us with their pains out. Oh, Stu. Huh. I'll get it. Hello? Now listen, sister. You tell that husband of yours to stay away from Lulu or I'll knock him. Jeff, you can use it for killing. Stuart. Come on, we better get out of here till this blows over. No, we'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Now, nothing's happened that can't be fixed up. There was a man on the phone just now. A man? What did he want? It was a warning for you to stay away from Lulu. This must be somebody's idea of a practical joke. Why, of course. Why didn't I think of that myself? Now, honey, don't let these people bother you. You just call Mrs. Ames and find out when we can expect them. All right, dear. Maybe she's been trying to get us. Yes, sir. If I ever find out who's doing this, Lulu. It has to be a practical joke. Mrs. Ames, please. This is Mrs. Stuart Irwin calling. It's Mrs. Irwin. Now what are we going to do? We're going right over and meet her husband. Why don't you leave membership problems up to me? I've been saving this one for Joe Baker. The town drunk. At least he's fun on a party. What can you expect from a high school principal? Alex, you hardly know the man. Now, why don't you give him a chance? Hello, dear. I was just going to call you. Alex is so anxious to meet your husband. We'll be right over. Dinner. Oh, yes. Yes, we'd love to. All right, I'll see you in a little while. Now, dinner. What am I being punished for? Alex, I like Junior Wynn very much, and I want to get to know her better. Fine, and while you're knowing her better, I'm going to be enduring her stodgy husband in the locker room. What are the boys downstairs going to talk about with a chaperone? What do they talk about now? Never mind. And the stag parties. We'd have to invite them to them. I'm not going with you. Alex, we're going right over and meet the Irwins, and that's fine. All right, but first I'm going to fortify myself. Oh, you'd better not. We'll return to the Irwins in just a moment. And now, back to the Irwins. Oh. Is it the Irwin residence? Uh, did you hear about Lulu? Don't be silly. Well, did you hear about betting the horses? No, I'm not. I'm Alexander Ames, and I... Oh, Mr. Ames. Mr. Ames. Just rang the front doorbell, and it's right over there, sir. The Ames is here. Dames is here! Dames is here! Dames is here! Stu, they're here! Yes, I'll be right down, honey. Wait till we're settled, Willie. Go in the living room, children. All right, Willie, let them in. You certainly get around. Oh, I try to. The madam's in the parlor, sir. Where's the boss? Oh, he ain't in. Oh, no? Uh, where's your old man? Why, my husband's engaged at the moment. Would you please come back later? No, I think I'll stick around. I'm so glad you could come, Mrs. Ames. If you want us to come back later. Oh, no. Well, uh, this is my husband, Mrs. Irwin. How do you do? How do you do, Mrs. Irwin? Uh, won't you come in and meet my daughters? Oh, thank you. These are my daughters, Joyce and Jackie. Hello. How do you do? Will you take Mr. Ames' hat, dear? Thank you. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Will you pass the order of Joyce? Oh, yes. Uh, Mrs. Ames? No, thank you. 
Uh, would you care to sit? Oh, thank you. Excuse me. Uh, Mother? No, thank you, dear. You got company. I know, Willie. I don't think you do. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, Hiya, bud. Maxie. Uh, let's go in the other room, Maxie. I have the money. Don't be a dope. I ain't given it to you yet. Oh, here you are. Hmm? 620 clams. Horsefly again? No, Nightingale. Oh. Say, you got Jake laying off bets all the ways to Chicago. And listen. Jake don't like it when a client wins twice in one day. Oh? Well, uh, goodbye, Maxie. Uh, tell Jake I won't win again. That's it, nice boy. So long, pal. So long, pal. Uh, <laughs> someone's playing a practical joke on us. Well, we don't think it's a bit funny. I'd like to have someone play a $600 joke on me. Oh? <laughs> <laughs> Erwin, it's high time we met. I'm Alex Ames. Uh, happy to know you, sir. And this is Mrs. Ames. Oh, I'm glad to meet you, How too. How do you do? Yes. Listen, uh, hmm? I'm always ready to ride along on a hot tip. Oh, uh, oh <laughs> I don't make a practice of it, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Huh. A nice day, wasn't it? Yes, indeed it was. Mm -hmm. It would have been a great day for uh, golf. I hadn't noticed. Oh. <laughs> Stu always enjoys his weekends on the links. Is that so? These are delicious, dear. Yeah. Try one. <laughs> oh, oh yes, sir. Um, why don't you girls go and play some uh, catch? The worst duffer at the club wouldn't beat up a ball as badly as this one. Well, I, I must have picked up a field mouse. <laughs> oh, here comes Willie with the drinks. Thank goodness. <laughs> cool. Ginger ale and lemonade. What's the difference? Take her out in the kitchen. Come on. I'm sorry. Excuse us. Sit right there. Be quiet. Be quiet. Oh, my goodness. My golf ball. Be quiet. Please. Maybe this will help. Huh? Oh, may I speak? Can I? Huh? No, Willie, no. Shadows. Hold still. Hold still. Oh, what a hot appetite. You, I... I'm sorry, Daddy. No. Cora, you'll have to live in Mrs. Irwin's kitchen until you learn how to cook like this. Oh, please, Mr. Ames. Wait till you've tasted it. That's what I can't wait to do. We're from the Acme Finance Company. Well, excuse me. I didn't meet all my car payments. We're not after you. Uh, just what seems to be the trouble? I have a writ of attachment against your dining room suite. Oh, a what? A writ, you heard me. Well, you'll have to come back some other time. We're eating. Now look, when you don't pay your bills, you shouldn't be eating. But I pay my bills. It's all a mistake. Well, then you can tell that to the Acme Finance Company. You bet I will. Right this minute. <laughs> you can't. Huh? They're closed till Monday. Oh, now, wait. We don't have guests. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> but this is impossible. Uh, no, we'd better eat in the living room. It's all a mistake, but it can't be rectified until Monday. That's all right. Now, uh, Willie, well, you get the roast. Uh, that's all I right. hope you don't mind carrying your own plate. Yes. We'd better get out of here. This is more fun than a barrel of monkeys. I'm so mortified, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. Hey, come on, get this out. 
Dog skin that furniture up. This is really living. I always did prefer buffet suppers. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Mr. Ames. I mean it. <laughs> Willie, watch them. Yes. Watch them. Where is he? He's in there eating. Hey, you. Who? Me? Jake wants you. Yes. Hello, Jake. Give it on, Maxie. Now, wait. Uh, a thousand iron. Man. Oh. Hmm. I don't like it when someone's in back of me. Oh, Willie. Excuse Willie. me. Yes. And I begin to worry when one of my customers hits me for three long shots in a row, see? I, I see. It smells kind of fishy, see? I, I see. Now, I'm not saying it's not on the up and up. But if you're working some kind of a gimmick, the boys aren't going to like it, see? I, I see. Because there's no accounting for what happens to guys who try to throw curves past me, see? I, I see. Come on, Maxie. Willie, if anyone else comes, I'm not at home, see? I'll see. been charged for him until now. Where is he? Uh, well, who have you looking for? He ain't home. Where is he? Where is he hiding? Oh, Mr. Irwin. Hmm? Uh, well, don't you remember me, Mr. Irwin? Aren't you Lulu? Uh, uh, Belle Murphy? Why, sure. I was in your first graduating class. Of course. You were the girl voted most likely uh, to succeed. And did I succeed? <laughs> Get out of my way or I'll let you have it. I'll try and do just that, sir. Jim! I warned you to keep away from the roof now. <laughs> You've got the wrong man. Uh, yeah, sure. But if you're right when I finish with him. No, 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 wait. I'm from the telephone company, and I... Uh... What do you want? My goodness, who is this man? Why, that's Miss Stewart Irwin. Yes. You mean Mr. Stewart Irwin? That's right. You mean you're not Irwin Stewart? I certainly am not. But that's the way you're listed in the new telephone directory. What? Yes, that's why I'm here to straighten everything out. Well, now things are beginning to make more sense. Come on, Lulu. Let's go. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Jim. Uh, Mr. Irwin Stewart has been receiving calls from the school board all day. I suppose you've been receiving Mr. Stewart's calls, eh? <laughs> yes, I have. That's what happens when everybody's in a coma. That's the first true thing that you've said. Now I've got to go over to Mr. Irwin Stewart's house to straighten things out with him. Well, if you look, look, when you get over there, will you tell Mr. Irwin Stewart that Jake sent it and advise him not to win again? See? I see. And I'll be glad to do that. Uh, things will be all straightened out in the morning, Mr. Irwin. And, uh... Thanks to you, we'll have to reprint and redistribute a whole new directory. Oh, that's pity. Good day, sir. Willie. You. Me? Oh, Mr. Owen. I'm sorry. It looks like we made a mistake. It looks like you're going to have to put everything back. We sure will. But will you give me that writ and I'll serve it oh. on the right man? Oh, yes. There you are. Thank you. Huh? Come on, let's get... Hey! Let's get everything back. I don't know when I've enjoyed a dinner as much as this one. Oh, all those interruptions and those awful people. I enjoyed every minute of it. Stu? Uh, yes, Mr. Ames. Call me, Alex, will you, old boy? Why, Miss Alex? <laughs> I don't know how the club has ever gotten along so far without a live wire like you. Hmm? I'm not only going to put you up for membership, I'm going to recommend you to head the entertainment committee. Well. <laughs> And I agree with everything that Alex has said. You're a wonderful family. <laughs>